Welcome back to It Is This Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. Let's get into this reading. Make sure you push that like button and subscribe, and we'll get straight into it. Push that like button. Damn, I dropped some. Okay, you deserve some eggs with some um, <laughs> cheese and onions that he said, okay? He was breaking it down. Let her know what you deserve, baby. Let her know. Open your mouth, okay? And uh, whoever this masculine is, he's speaking up, y'all, okay? But yeah, hey, everybody. Um, I'm about to jump into it, do a meat and potatoes real quick. I just got two calls. I got to go do two twin little eight-year-old hairs. I got to go do two layers. Y'all know what two layers is. And y'all do the French braids. It's two layers. So I'm going to go do them real quick. And then I will be back, okay? But I'm right back up in the castle doing the readings where I'm supposed to be, okay? But, you know, I be trying to be respectful to the hater. She be like, oh, the fan is loud. Oh, I heard you breathe too loud, okay? So I just didn't want to hear it. But you know what? I'm going to make sure that I push time and, you know, um, make sure that I be able to do room, do readings in both rooms, okay? But, yeah, I love you guys. And, yeah, let's jump into this reading, okay? But um, whoever this karmic is, she's very jealous and she's very envious, okay? She's very jealous and she's very envious of you, okay, Divine Feminine. You can have Pisces up in your chart, okay? But she's pissed off and she's walking around with an attitude currently concerning you, okay? This karmic is pissed the fuck off and mad, okay? Because a lot of secrets and lies is coming out about this karmic and she's knowing that this masculine wants to sit up here and release her ass, okay? This masculine might be finna to release her ass on the um, next full moon, okay? Or this masculine been thinking about releasing her ever since that last blood moon that we had, okay? Not too long ago, okay? This masculine, okay? He feels as dealing with this karmic. She could be sitting up here being a cancer. He could feel as though her ass, you know, was forbidden fruit, okay? Or it's a cancer that's feeling like whoever that she was dealing with or he was dealing with was forbidden fruit, okay? Take what resonates, okay? And, um, yeah, but whatever's going on, this masculine feels as though this karmic that is a cancer was forbidden fruit, okay? And he's ready to sit up here and release whoever this karmic is that is a cancer, okay? It's a whole lot of secrets and lies coming out about this 
karmic, okay? Whoever this karmic is, okay, she's sitting up here praying, praying and hoping that this masculine don't release her ass, okay? Damn, I just dropped it. Okay, yeah, whoever it is. Let me pick it up. Let me pick it up. Okay, but she's hoping and praying that this masculine don't sit up here and release her ass, okay? And feeling some type of way, as I said, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she's feeling extra rejected, okay? She up in her feelings, okay? Because she sees that it's not over between you and your masculine, okay? She been getting a lot of readings on you, and she also has been watching a lot of tarot readings, and she knows that this masculine is still very much attracted to you, still wants to fight for the relationship. She knows that this masculine is holding on to you due to his feelings, um, that he has for you, okay? And this karmic is feeling extra rejected right now, okay? She's pissed the fuck off, okay? And she is up in her feelings currently, okay? Pissed, okay? She been trying to fake it like she that it ain't bothering her, okay? But it started to affect the way that she feels on an everyday basis. And she realizing, you know what? This masculine ain't letting go of this divine feminine. He's not letting go of this counterpart. And this masculine really rather be with the divine feminine, okay? The empress, okay? And why would he not be, okay? Why would he not want to be in a Bentley coupe over a Honda? And there's nothing wrong with Hondas or anything because it's some nice-ass nice Hondas, okay? I ain't um, knocking nobody that's in the Honda, but I'm just saying I'm just trying to, you know. But, yeah. She's very envious of you, and she's feeling very rejected right now, okay? Mm-hmm. This masculine regret sitting up here betraying you, fucking over you, okay? Because you was very trustworthy, okay? You was very trustworthy, and you was very loving, okay? You was very caring to this masculine, okay? You were low-key baby this masculine, okay? The different loving, you know, that loving nature that you have, that queen of cups nature, just loving, caring, you know, you know, you're just a nurturer, you know, um, you, you, you motherfy people, okay, and I know that ain't a word, but I'm making it a word, we, you motherfy, okay, this masculine, okay, and he missed that loving, trusting nature that you have, okay, you was more loving to him than his own mama, okay, and this masculine missed the way that you would love him, the way that you would make him feel comfortable and how he can trust you. And he's up in his feelings about what he did to portray the connection, okay? He's in full remorse on what he did. And he should be, okay? Because this masculine, okay, he rejected a good thing, okay, for a nothing-ass bitch, okay? This masculine... This masculine. I said this magnet, but it's say magnetic, okay? But this masculine, okay, before this stanky ass karmic came into his life doing magic and doing shit and seducing him, life was great for you and this masculine, okay? He was magnetized towards you. He felt as though that you was the one and this masculine was planning on spending his life with you until the devil creeped on in, okay? And you already know your masculine's his vessel, okay, is weak. He, he full of weak sauce and ball juice. And it was too easy to be able to infiltrate him, okay? Even though this masculine knew that you was the one, even though he was magnetized towards you, even though he knew within his heart, mind, body, and soul that you was the one that he was supposed to sit up here and be with, okay? This masculine been sitting back thinking about that shit, okay? When he be alone, especially at night, Okay, this is when he thinks about, you know, what he did and how life could have been if he just would have just took a leap of faith and tried harder for the relationship and the connection. Okay, this masculine know that you didn't deserve how reckless his ass was towards you because you was really trustworthy. You was really wifey material, still is wifey material. Okay, and this masculine, he is really ashamed of himself. Okay for how he portrayed you and what he did to you, okay? This masculine is seeing that you is wish fulfillment, okay? He wished that he would have handled things in a different way, okay? This masculine is amazed, okay, how you still standing after he broke you and did the most to you. He's just amazed how strong your strength is and how resilient you are to pick yourself back up. But he don't understand that was the strength within God that gave it to you to be able to pick yourself up after this masculine vanished, okay, and did you wrong, okay, and was out here sitting up here, okay, 
fucking around and cheating on you, okay? Thank God for God that gave you the strength that came in and picked you up and, and heals you and let you be able to work through what he did to you, okay? This masculine is very aware, okay, that you now see his ass as a false lying ass motherfucker, okay, that his ass was wearing a mask the whole fucking time, okay, and this masculine is in fear now, in fear that he has missed out on a magical connection, which he did. This masculine took too long to make things right, okay? Thought that you was going to just be sitting there waiting thirsty like these other bitches that he used and accustomed to dealing with, okay? And this masculine know that you see that his ass is a liar, okay? You despise as a liar just like God. God despises a liar, okay? God said all you got to do is come back and repent and stop the lying, okay? And this masculine, he's a, he is... <sighs> This motherfucker just lie just to lie, okay? You guys, if you got sugar and butter in your grits, his ass is still going to lie. No, he didn't put it in there. He just lied just to lie, okay? And that's one of the things that would get up under your skin, okay? You realize that his ass was a false motherfucking, um, what did it say? He had a false identity. He was wearing the mask, and he's a bold-faced liar. Now he's sitting back. Now he see that that mask and failed you see the truth and he's in fear that he has missed that magical connection okay this masculine is over there pissed the fuck off okay with obligations stuck to this fucking karmic and an unrequited ass relationship don't even like the bitch they don't even get along they don't even have no connection okay and the sex ain't even holding the connection together no more okay he over there stuck in the karmic contract, repeating the cycle yet again, stuck with obligations somewhere where he don't want to fucking be, okay? Whoever this karmic is, okay? This bitch is running through money, okay? He had all his money that he was having and everything. He done burnt through it, trying to show all, trying to sit up here and run with these motherfuckers that don't mean his ass no good, okay? And his money is fucking fading away. This masculine is going fucking broke, okay? Because so many people has manipulated his ass. He couldn't sit his ass down. He was out here in the fast lane thinking that he was sitting up here showing off and being extra Gucci with it, okay? And now his ass is having a drought, okay? Because he's so busy trying to showboat, so busy trying to make motherfuckers like him and buy bitches and buy friends. Thank you, Lord. Now that his um his pockets is real low, money is funny, okay? This karmic, okay? And he and then on top of that, okay. His ass is sitting up here stuck, okay, with a whole lot of obligations, okay, taking care of a whole lot of people's obligations and taking care of people, okay, to the point that his ass is broke, stressed, and disgusted, okay, because he been taking on other people's responsibilities, okay, but God is cutting that off, okay. God says it's an injustice, okay, God is balancing the scales, okay, who you could have Libra in your chart, okay? But yeah, God is balancing the scales on this masculine being able to run through money and burn through money. God is slowing down his money so he can be able to learn, okay, um, the lesson behind that, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she got deep insecurities, okay? And she feeling extra broken because she ain't out here able to showboat and act like she's that bitch for the gram like she used to because they up here having, um, you know, financial problems, okay? This karmic, okay, is feeling some type of way, okay? Her ass really wasn't there for the right reasons, okay? And now that this masculine can't spend money on this and that like he used to, this bitch over there losing her motherfucking mind, okay? This bitch is losing her fucking mind, okay? Because she's so materialistic and she feeds off of comments. She feeds off of people putting them likes and everything, okay? And she's very, very material. Realistic. And now that this money is running out, now she wants to, now she's having a mental breakdown. Okay. Now she's sitting up here making this masculine feel some type of way because the money is um, drying up. Okay. It's a drought right now. Okay. And she realizes that this masculine is ready to jump ship on her ass as well. Okay. 
this masculine feels a lot of remorse, a lot of remorse, a lot of guilt on how he did you. This masculine, like I said, has been sitting back thinking, thinking about the good times, the good days, the memories that you and him shared before all this destruction and bullshit happened, okay? This masculine, okay, he feels really ashamed of himself, like I said, because how reckless he was, okay, on sitting up here being reckless, out here being street meat, out here just showing up to bitches' house houses and hotel rooms with dick and bubble gum, okay? And for you to still be um, standing after all that is just unbelievable, okay? This, mag this masculine is very magnetized towards you, realizing that he sat up here and missed out, okay, on um, true love, okay? Yeah, this masculine realized that he just threw away true love, okay? Wish fulfillment, he threw away like it wasn't nothing. Just threw a winning lottery ticket in the trash can, okay? And could have been set for life, okay? This masculine know that you are sitting up here running far away from him as possible. This masculine know that you is manifesting a soulmate and new love and you don't want to deal with him and that bullshit no more, okay? You have put your trust within God. You know that you know that God will sit up here and supply all your needs, fill your cup, and that God is going to send you with a good man, okay, with all the qualities that you need in order for you to be the best that you can be. OK, you're running away from bullshit. OK, you want somebody that's going to be trustworthy, somebody that you can believe in, somebody that can lead you. OK, so that you can be in your feminine energy and not your masculine energy all the time, feeling like everything is always on your shoulder, even though you're the empress, even though you do it and you handle it and you hold everything down. You want a partner that can match you with the same energy. OK, and that is coming. OK. That is coming, okay, this masculine, he's sitting up here stuck to this karmic, unrequited, okay, feeling broken right now, okay, in a relationship because both of them got an STD, both of them stuck with each other, okay, if they want to be with each other or not. This STD that they both got, okay, is keeping their ass together, okay? And this is why you want to run far away from this bullshit as possible because you already know your intuition and told you that this masculine got an STD now out here fucking around, out here sitting up here being reckless, doing the fucking most, sitting up here. His ass out here that got some nasty spoiled street meat, okay? And you better run your ass far away from it as possible. Do you hear me, okay? Because his ass been out here reckless, okay? Out here dealing with a whole lot of shitty ass kitties, okay? And now his ass is stuck with an STD his ass can't get, a get away from, okay? You got to be careful on fucking sucking, letting anybody suck on you or anything. You better open their mouth up, okay? Or continue to be celebrating like I am and like many of you guys are because, you know, we be talking in the comments and through the emails, okay? And we all been celebrating, okay? Marinating, keeping our coochies nice and juicy, waiting on Nunu, okay, for the right emperor to be able to give our love to, okay? Because you don't want to be sitting up here dealing with no reckless ass men that's out here winking and blinking, fucking, taking a street meat from house to house, okay? And then a lot of them ain't going to tell you what's going on, okay? So you got to be careful with that, okay? But yeah, whoever this karmic is, okay, that this masculine has been sitting up here dealing with, this bitch has been exposed for the lies and shit. Her good looks ain't getting her through the lies, okay? And this bitch is very envious. Okay, thank you, Lord. When it comes to you, she is so jealous. She is so pissed because she wants to be you, okay? And she's feeling extra rejected because this masculine is into a Pisces, okay? Mm-hmm. And she is praying, praying that this masculine, okay? Let me sit up here and get this deck. Let me push these over, okay? Let's sit up here and see what else can we get out, okay? Yeah. 
this masculine feels that you was his destiny and he knows that he done fucked up the either way that you gonna have a good man to come into your life, okay? The reason why you are single divine feminine is because your masculine wasn't willing to sit up here and change his fucking ways. He wasn't willing to sit up here and level up and make the necessary changes and this is the reason why you rather be by yourself because you is no longer building and basing a relationship off no good dick, okay? That's not where your mind is okay your masculine is ready to sit up here and get a divorce okay Ooh, what else is going on okay this karmic is currently sitting up here feeling unbalanced her ass about to tick tick boom this bitch don't know if she coming or going this is how fucking envious this bitch is and how jealous her ass is when it comes to you divine feminine okay when you could care less you have ran from this connection you no longer want to sit up here build with the connection because you see your masculine makes you feel uncomfortable okay you really kind of low-key scared of him, okay? You don't want to be with him. You don't know what lies he's coming with, and you just don't fucking trust him, okay? You just don't. You feel as though your masculine study wearing a fucking um, mask, okay? And you feel as though you really never knew his ass all along, okay? Because everything after the fact of what you found out about your masculine and the shit that his ass was out here doing and shit, okay? You want no parts of that bullshit, okay? Mm -mm. You running far away from the bullshit, okay? You doing the Heisman, okay, on his ass, okay? You want no parts of it, okay? Period, okay? So why this bitch up here being um, jealous and envious of you, okay? <laughs> Boo-boo, you can have him. Divine feminine they ain't tripping on his masculine. Okay, but this karmic, she's very jealous because what she keeps seeing on tarot, and then she's around him, and she knows that this masculine rat to sit up here and be with you is in love with you. Okay, and this is what's making her ass feel more and more off balanced. Okay, each and every day. Okay, because you know how your masculine can get when he just care only about self. Okay, your masculine real good. Okay, on turning his love off. Okay, pulling his energy back. Okay. And that's what he's doing to this karmic, okay? He's making her feel rejected. She feel unbalanced, okay? And then this bitch is going to tarot to find out what's going on. And then to hear that he'd rather be up here with you in love with you each and every day, okay? Mm -hmm. She feeling some type of way. And it's taking a toll on her, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is somebody that this masculine is married to, okay? He regrets. He regrets sitting up here marrying this karmic, being married to this karmic, lying to you about a marriage. Oh, he regretted because as soon as he said, I do, okay, karma kicked in instantly, okay? This masculine ain't been who he know himself to be since he done been got married to this bitch. So much bad luck came in on him sitting up here committing to this bad luck ass bitch, okay? This masculine was very resentful. He regret each and every day. He getting drunk. He getting high. He smoking. He doing any and everything to numb the way that he feels. Because this masculine done put two and two together. That they, whoever this karmic is that he decided to commit to, be with, move in with, marry. This bitch ain't been nothing but a fucking headache. And this bitch has been nothing but bad luck armor and this masculine feels some type of way okay now that he knows okay what's going on okay this masculine is ready to take action he ready to ghost this bitch okay he watching you level up you out here looking like a fucking glazy ass juicy fucking snack out here life is just looking extra great on your side and this masculine want to take action and he want to come back towards you okay and one of the reasons why he want to sit up here and come back towards you okay because he feels if he come back to apologize to you that and make his way back towards you that some of this karma okay some of this karma get off of his ass okay 
But you know what? God will respect the masculine if he just own up, repent to any and everybody that he has hurt, that he has lied to, and, you know, at least make an effort and try to change and be a better person and not continue to do the same shit over and over again, not continue to do the same cycle over and over again, and stop sitting up here putting his dick in musty mouth ass bitches' mouths and fucking these low life ass bitches with his street meat, Divine Masculine's life will change, but he got to take action and change it, okay, with changing the way that he move in these streets, okay, this masculine, okay, he is spying, he is watching you, and he is in full regret, okay, I told you out here looking like a butter biscuit with extra honey and butter on top, okay, sure is, okay, you know how good a biscuit is with some honey and butter, mm-hmm, Especially the church's biscuits. I mean, it's just a lot of biscuits that we talk about. Why am I talking about biscuits? Am I hungry? <laughs> okay, but what I can tell you is he watches you so much that you, like, pray to his ass. He on some snap shit, okay? This mask was sitting back in the motherfucking room, okay? Thinking about how he can get his bitch back, his empress back, okay? Spying, watching you, okay? He done had some dark thoughts, okay? He is not comfortable on missing this opportunity, okay? And making the wrong choice. This masculine is trying to get you back by any means necessary. You might as well call his ass Malcolm, okay? He like, by any means necessary, he ready to stack you, okay? Your ass and take action, okay? Because this masculine being married to this karmic is keeping his ass off balance, okay? And the cold part about this masculine, he is even seeing how fucking jealous and envious this bitch is of you, okay? And it's a turn off, okay? It's a turn off to the point that he wants the real deal. And why would he want a fake ass $30 bill, okay? They don't even make $30 bills. Okay, that's how fake the bitch is. She just showing up with a $30 bill and told him she was a $30 bill. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Divine told you Divine Masculine is feeling extra fucking darn. He's feeling extra in his feelings. Okay. And he's just really just kicking his own ass. Okay. This karmic. Okay, wants to know who you are so fucking bad, okay, that this bitch is fucking losing it, okay? Oh, marshmallow brain bitch over there, dipsy as a motherfucker right now, okay? This bitch feels as though it's urgent, okay? This bitch is trying to do whatever she can do to know who you are, okay? She ain't never seen this masculine feel like he feels about you. And she used to being cheated on by this masculine. She used to be in a side chick. This is what this bitch signed up for. She got many contracts to be able to side bitch, okay? But something about you, Divine Feminine? Mm-mm. What she's saying up in these tarot readings? Mm-mm. She can't take it, Okay. If she know that Divine Master see the truth, that he should have never fucked with this bitch. And the bitch that gave him an STD that magically appeared to him. Okay. Mm -mm. I told you. Hold on. This masculine say he wished that he never took a bite of that apple. He said he know that was forbidden food. He know now that that was something he should have never, ever fucked with, okay? And this is why this masculine is sitting up here rejecting this karmic, okay? Because you stay on his mind, okay? Rejecting this bitch, okay? Hmm. Want his buttercup back, okay? He want his divine feminine, okay? Where the light shine bright, okay? Where it was nothing but good karma and all green lights, okay? That's what he want back, okay? Divine master want the green light, okay? <laughs> Why my spirit guys always messing with me doing these readings? Not too much. I got to go do these people hair, okay? Yeah, Divine Family, you sitting up here growing, plant seeds, and you want somebody that you can plant seeds with and build with, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's on period, Divine Family, okay? Yes. You have been praying, praying for a new beginning, okay? Somebody that you can grow with and be with, okay? That's where your mind is at, okay? And one thing about this masculine, too, 
he is pissed the fuck off, okay? And he up in his motherfucking feelings, okay? Because a lot of secrets have came out about this karmic. Oh, he feeling extra salty, extra pissed off, okay? And all up in his feelings, okay? And a lot of y'all masculines is watching tarot, okay? Mm-hmm. From a false-ass account, okay? show is he watching tarot and he putting all the pieces together okay he was acting like he was the devil he was acting like you was a witch bitch okay but realizing that tarot is the motherfucking truth and nothing but the truth okay so help you god his ass no he know he know he know what else, Lord? Okay. Mm hmm. This masculine is ready to sit up here and send you a message. Okay. Because divine masculine is loving your self worth, loving how you over there just shining bright, glistening all up under the sun. Okay. This masculine know that you done got a hold of your emotions. It's up there just in your water, taking your bear, your, um, your spiritual baths. Okay. You can even been seeing some birds in some water lately. Okay. Okay, yeah, Divine Feminine, you have been manifesting. You have been manifesting. You have been seeing the signs and synchronicities that new love is on its way, okay? Divine Master want to come back and he want to apologize to you. He want to apologize to you for being a dumb ass, okay? That karma is whooping his ass left and fucking right that he don't know what to fucking do with himself, okay? This master know that he fucked over the wrong one. God and your angels and your ancestors and told this masculine put some respect on your name, okay? And stop with the bullshit. Stop letting this karmic attack you do magic. And if he joined them with this karmic doing magic, he need to stop or he got hell to pay, okay? For real. Because you in the spotlight, Divine Femme. Told you your light is shining so bright. It don't matter what you put on. You want to go outside every day as the boxer. You going to shine bright, okay? This masculine knows, okay? That you're about to sit up here and meet true love, okay? And whoever this man, Nunu, that's coming into your life, he's going to be your friend first, okay? He's going to have empathy. He's going to be patient with you. Know that you done been through some things. You're going to realize that he done been through some things. But you and him coming together, y'all going to be a strong force to reckon with. And y'all both going to have empathy and love for each other. And it's just going to grow, okay? That friendship is going to turn into some love, okay? And this masculine, I told you. You're going through a whole lot right now, okay? <laughs> Life ain't looking so grand. Them streets is more narrow, and Divine Masculine trying to figure out on how he can escape. This masculine trying to figure out on how he can book his ass a ticket and get far away from this karmic as possible. He trying to figure it out. He about to make an escape, and he about to kick rocks with flip-flops and get the fuck on from this bitch. Okay, what else is going on? Okay, this could be a Leo that he's about to get away from, okay? She could have Capricorn in his chart, okay? And this masculine is married. Whoever this masculine is, he is married, okay? And he's tired of being in a one-sided-ass relationship, okay? With whatever wife that he's with or whatever mistress that he is with, okay? But what I do know is that it's a whole lot of secrets that's coming out, and he want to sit up here and apologize to you, okay, for what he did concerning the Leo. Leo, okay, like Leo Cancer, okay, Capricorn, okay, they have it in this chart, okay, Divine Feminine, you already sat up here and had a gut feeling, you already had a gut feeling about a Leo Cancer or Capricorn, okay, your intuition done told you that your masculine is ready to come back and start over, and he is, he want to come back and kiss your ass, and he wants to start over because that karma is whooping his ass. He is hoping that you will have some empathy, okay, for what he's going through, even though he was sitting up here wearing a false mask, lying, okay, and missed out on the relationship. This masculine wants you to know that he's not okay, okay, with you sitting up here wanting to sit up here and move on with your life. He's not okay with you sitting up here, you know, wanting to level up with a soulmate because he dropped the dime and turned his back and left you, okay? For dead, he mad that you finna have new true love and he's spying on you, okay? 